Uh, have you seen the notes for the construction accident patient? Dr. Dr. Kyle. Thank you. I mean, we need to ask you, how is uh, the housekeeper's cousin, Inez, how's she doing? Uh, well, I'm actually not in touch with Inez right now. She felt obligated to come forward to uh, answer to your accusation that she didn't exist, but she was afraid of repiles for being illegal, so she's moved on. I don't even know when. The act never slips. Here you go. Right on cue. You know, congratulations, because you have definitely been on a winning streak lately, but that'll run out. Luck always does. Dr. Rodriguez called me the Dr. Rodriguez called me. Hey, I, uh, I've got your page. What's going on? I hope I didn't pull you away for something important. No, I'm fine. What's up? Oh, uh, well, we just... We haven't discussed the holidays. Yeah, I, uh... I was kind of thinking that it wasn't my place to bring it up, but I hope it goes without saying that I would love to spend time with you and Emma. Whatever makes you comfortable. Well, Christmas is supposed to be a magical time for kids. As Emma's parents, we are supposed to provide her with wonderful memories, so... Would you like to come home and spend Christmas with us? Wow, yeah, that would be... That would be amazing. That's not what I expected. Well, the invitation wasn't given lightly, believe me. <laughs> I thought a lot about it. You know, weighing our problems against what Christmas should mean for our daughter. But in the end, it was a no-brainer. <clears throat> anyway, I just want to be clear. Uh, this is not the start of a reconciliation. You will be sleeping in the guest room. Oh, well, in that case, forget it. Thanks for the offer, though. And you're not going to wear me down. <laughs> I can hope, can you? <laughs> nice, uh, cheesy old message, huh? Hey, it's, uh, it's Lisa. Um, I've been thinking about you, so when you get this message, if you could just give me a call back. I'd love to hear your voice. So I got a bunch of presents for Emma at the hotel I was hoping to bring over. I hope we didn't try wrapping them. Tried once, disaster. <laughs> you know what? It's amazing the intricate work you can do in the OR, and then when it comes to wrapping a present, it's just worthless. Oh, but it's a completely different procedure wrapping a present. I, I tried once, and it looked like a first grader got loose. Okay, I'll make you a deal. I will help you wrap if you help me decorate. I've only managed to put a wreath on the door, and Emma deserves a proper treat. She does. Um, why don't we go after work? Come try and find one, if that's not pushing it. No, no, it's not. Good. Hey, um, I've been looking over the notes for Mr. Bruzy. I, I really think you should take a look at it. I have lab notes. I'll catch up with you. No, hey, stay here for a second. Um... The construction worker came into the ER two days ago. Mm -hmm. He's been admitted. His surgery is scheduled for next week, so I'm not sure what you're asking. Well, I thought you wanted to take a jump on the, uh, on the particulars. It's Matt's procedure, so... I'm sorry, but that's never stopped you before. If Matt wants me to assist, he'll ask me. Dr. Not you. I'll see you after rounds. Dr. Okay. Barbara. Call 9326.